I'm going to keep it all the way funky with all of y'all. Hassan Campbell made it to the point where he became a hater of anybody that he feels is looked at as an activist, someone that's probably really standing up for their peoples and doing things. You know why, in my head, my opinion? Because that's who he really wants to be. His thinking is, why you didn't call me? I could do the same thing Kwame Brown did. Why you didn't hit me up? I could do the same thing my son did. Why you didn't hit me up? I could do the same thing Hocus 4 Fifth did. I am the people's champ. The people are tuned in to me. I'm the biggest thing on YouTube. Nah, nah, nah. On the dark side of the web, <laughs> on the dark side of YouTube, with all respects. And I mean that in a way like there's regular members of society that never been incarcerated, never been in a gang, and then got out of the gang and dragged their own same gang they was in through the concrete and only shot them out when it was convenient. <laughs> that are doing super well Way better than a lot of other people With billions, multi-millions of subscribers And subscribers are overrated With all respects to everybody You see, real brief When you don't know YouTube An individual is able to say What Hassan Campbell said In Kwame Brown's video When he stated You've been on YouTube since 2013 and like trying to underplay where he's at on YouTube today. Like you've been making videos and like now, bro, because the year people say, oh, people go to the about section and they'll be like, oh, he's facts. He's been here since 2013. To so those that don't know the two. While the other guy, while Brown man is like, bro, I ain't been posting like that, like podcasting since 2013. You act like he went on Turtle Express and all that. But you know what? It's okay because it's not a race. It's not a competition. But to Hassan, it is. He looks at everything as content. He looks at when you say something, when you slip up with whatever, he looks at it as money. Like, oh, I need to talk about this. He's not concerned about your feelings. He's in tune with algorithms. And he understands the platforms that you need to talk about what's trending in order, boom, to make it to the moon. With that being said, we're going to talk about that and a whole lot more here. On the lockout. Stay tuned because it gets crazy, Bobby. <laughs> so, this is what they be doing. You heard? Look, you see this dude right here, right? You see him? You see him? A son, right? They always talking about, and Brown has done it too. I seen him. Brown has done it. And this is to the people that watch them. And it's okay. You're entitled to watch whoever you want to watch. But these dudes are down low preaching hate. It's a big contradiction going on. When you're trying to stand for the people as a whole, right? Or they just standing for their own people. But when you're talking about you're locked, you get you talk about being locked up and you being uh subjected or doing what the white man tells you to do. You see, talk like that. It's racist to me. It's down low racist. But when anyone else speaks upon where they come from or an incident that happened with their people, it's up in smoke. Wow. No, you can't do that. But these are the only individuals running around through the whole net that are bad talk. The white man. But the white man will watch all day, donate 24-7, and contribute to their down low acts of full hate, spreading it through the tube like wildfire.
Oh, I'm lying? There's a part where Hassan tells him that to him, he's as real as Santa Claus. And then he puts a picture of Santa Claus up. I say all that to say, people, do not, do not. And look, I tune in from time to time, and sometimes people do got a good message. Not all the time is all bad, right? But my guy, when you get to download preaching and disrespecting a whole other group of people on a download, like if your people are the only ones that understand what you're talking about, that's filtering down hatred at its finest on the internet. At times, I can't even believe what I'm hearing that you would still even be existing on the the YouTube or any other platform. So they both do it. They both put each other down when they went on the show together. That was like the craziest thing I ever seen. One not letting the other one talk. Oh, well, I actually seen that Brown let him talk more, and I seen that Hassan was getting like really upset about it. But let me tell you something. This is the rabbit hole. The first number one draft pick ever out of high school from a free lunch line. Daddy's in prison. Single mother after that day. My dad created. They were married. Never made it on the Black Breakfast Club, which is a mostly black watch show, until they were talking about my murderous daddy. Look, and that may not be so deep to some people what I just showed, but I want to just prove a point that is everything black this, black that, black whatever, right? And I mean that with all respects. When other people do it, y'all all have a problem with it. Life can't be like that. You understand what I'm saying? And then that gets filtered down to our own black and brown people as it is okay to hate and dislike and just cheer on for our people online as if the majority of the people that are watching us are not of mixed races, are not white themselves. So I don't know if I want to tune in to what you preach. And I don't know if I want you as the activist or the advocate for my community. Like, to be honest, it's been a long time that I've seen that you're not concerned about nothing in the community. You're concerned about your content, your videos, your revenue, point blank. And it's okay, my dude. It's cool. Because I too have a problem and always been saying it for years of people that were regular or, or basketball players, rappers, and were downing the so-called gossip sides, the bloggers, the vloggers, the content creators and all that. And now they all want to do it. I've been saying that. So when I hear Hassan saying, nobody's saying what I'm saying, bro. There's a million people saying what you're saying. You just gassing the people that don't know YouTube and don't know online and don't know how to make videos and don't know what's going on with the clicks, with the um um with everything, bro. Cause you feel you could just say a lie, like they don't know. Like he went and he did that thing to Brown when he said, Yo, you've been making videos since uh 13, 2013. No, he hasn't. He put a video up like of his property or something like that. We talking about videos like podcasting and whatever he's trying to do now. You know what I'm saying? But listen, I'm on neither one of them side. I think that they both made our peoples as a whole look bad. And I mean people in general, like world people. Because somebody would be like, yo, what are you talking about? Like, Because that's where people's minds is at. On the internet, there's a lot of hate and bad, disgusting stuff being filtered down by people like this right here, bro. Hassan is wrong. He's wrong. Tommy Sotomayor is wrong. A lot of them, they preaching hate. It's like just black everything. And look, I get it, bro. Right? Like, you went through a lot. So did the rest of the world, bro. 
Puerto Ricans, uh, Dominicans, a lot of other races were enslaved also, my dude. But we can't continue to blame the white man for stopping us from growing in the world when we're actually not doing nothing to grow. Of course, there's some doors that's harder to get into because they're already implanted flag. Boom, and this is us. You would do the same if you was in that position. In fact, if you was to ever fall in a position like that, you do it 10 times worse because you're full of the hatred that you carried within you and you made the pain yours, like where it's real in your head. You don't even know full stories. All you know is that if you get in dumb positions, I feel bad for the folks that are there and lose that power and people like you gain it. The world is going to be a real bad place because you have no forgiveness, you have no empathy, it's all lies. And I'm not saying it's a good thing, not a good thing for our people to grow and be in power. I'm just saying it's a bad thing when you really don't know who the power is being handed to. So you got to understand what's really going on here, what's being said. And in order to understand content like this, 90% of the time, you got to watch it all the way to the end. Because we're very judgmental and we jump to opinions and we comment and we don't know what we're saying. But I'm about to show you something right now. Check this out, my G. Hassan Campbell, boom, he does it to this guy Brown. The whole situation with Judge uh, Brown, that judge, there was a judge, that fake judge on TV, that show and all that that they talking about and what happened and the whole gossip. People keep asking me about that. I made a video about that before. That dude is a clout chaser, no good. He puts down his own people, my guy. He ran a show, was on a show that made fun of Hispanic and black people, all peoples that went up there and made themselves look like clowns. Facts. And now he got so used to the fame that when they clowning him, locking him up, oh, you're going crazy, right? Now he's saying they do that to all black people that are in power. They did it to Michael Jackson. They did, bro, those stories and those excuses got to stop. It makes people feel or other of our people feel that if they don't push to be successful, it's okay because there's somebody up there that was stopping them the whole time. Like, it's not me. It's the white man, bro. He's stopping me from growing, bro. No, he's not. It's you, bro. You got to get up and you got to do something for you because you want better for you. And sure, there may be obstacles, but you could get through that. Don't let these dudes filter and plant bad seeds of deception in your head when you failed before you even began to try. So check this out. My son starts doing community activist, community activist things. Who her son Campbell has a problem with? My son. Boom, yo. Uh, I'm the next Malcolm X. Who's talking like me? Nobody's talking like me on YouTube. Boom. My son being a thorough, real dude, tries not to respond. Uh, of course, he threw his little jazz. He's going to defend himself. I had the opportunity and the uh, 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 pleasure of meeting my son. Like, a good dude, bro. Like, it wasn't like I met Hocus four fifth a few times. Walked with him, was like, "Yo, Hocus, that you paid for that chain?" I was joking around him. Do I said, "I know you didn't pay for that." He was like, "You crazy?" We I don't know if Hocus remembers right by the um, Metro PCS in the Bronx, that little mall that's there on, by cross street from the course by one six one, and we walked to the building. Facts towards the PJs. You already know. I ain't gotta explain the whole scenery. You from New York? You know what it is. So boom. We walked, we joked around, my phone was dead. So, uh, good dude. Hassan, my, uh, 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 Hocus starts doing things that uh, for the community and for his people, huh? Who starts throwing at him? Hello, of course, Hassan, right? <laughs> Check this out. The number one clout chaser in the world is Hassan. So when it happens to you, you can't get mad, my dude. People are just making content just like you. When you have no remorse and no 
care for other people's feelings or their story or what's happening with them. You just put it, bang. This is how I feel. Now, check this out, people. Well, everybody else been doing this too. Now that you lucked out and got a few more uh, views and the algorithms picked you up, that's a different story. Because we all have a story of pain. The only thing different is the words and the people are different. But the pain is the same. And not everybody had super dramatical experiences like you have. But I've said it plenty of time. I was abused as a child. In my other videos. I just don't keep talking about it like 24-7 and making that like. But everybody knows that. That knows the story I said of when I was a kid. But with that being said. Because we don't want to get into that right now. Right? <clears throat> uh. Hocus, my son, Tony Sotomayor, anybody that's trying to do something in an activist way or for their people, for dark-skinned people, brown or black, whatever have you, right? And this fact, and this thing, we're going to keep it real. The majority of the people that I met were probably, I mean, that I mentioned were probably my son and Hocus to the side because they got a lot of Hispanic friends. And I've seen them walking with Puerto Ricans. And they already know what it is. They grew up like us. Like we know different. But the rest of them, what I see is black or nothing. Right? Facts. And they preaching a hate. There's real bad or down low hate. There's giving the internet like this. Oh, but nobody's saying nothing because y'all shook. I don't know what y'all shook about. Well, that's the way I feel. And I get it because they just want to turn your page down. All of a sudden, you look like you're the one that's preaching hate. Meanwhile, it's dumb, right? And for the people that think that, and look, this is not telling. They told on each other all through this internet. The CEO of YouTube said the other day she is aware of this. And she's aware of the back and forth and the bickering and the fights. And she pays attention. My dude, some of you dudes... We're preaching this down low hate and always talking about the white man and calling the white man a uh, 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 food, a uh, cracker and all that. Like, my dude, like not for nothing. I don't know who's worse. Because if you think you're helping your people with that, you're doing them a disservice because they're going to keep get feeding. You're going to keep feeding that feed. They're going to wake up angry one day and see a dude that's lighter than them or a dude that they feel is of that caliber or his family or whatever, even when you, when you start preaching this down low Hispanic and black hate and blam something in the street. And it's because he just finished watching your video, the power of word I keep telling y'all. Wow. The power of words is crazy, and I don't think you understand it that well. I think you y'all just feel like y'all online, and you know, this is the land of make-believe, and nah, bro. This is, the world has changed, and it's been changed. You just got hip to the internet. Facts, that's on you. The internet been popping, and it's been happening. But off the internet, more things happen when people get off of it, or when they watch than them hearing something, just somebody saying it. Because it's in a video. They, they, it's like super, it's in their head. Like they saw it. Images, talk. You're hurting a lot of people, bro, in this world. And the only ones that you feel or that they feel that are being helped are the ones that really applaud your crap. And that are super fans because they stuck because you already planted that seed of deception and it's growing. And you creating a monster. So sometimes when you see the news and it says God just blamed five people in the Bronx. Uh, stop back and think, bro. And if you look, he was subscribed to one of y'all, bro. He was following y'all. Y'all damaging your own people, bro. Believe it or not, bro. Sometimes it's better that you don't even make content like that, I feel. Like, yo, bro, just keep reporting whatever you're reporting, whatever you're doing.
but stop, like, I'm for the people, and, 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 and we need to do this, and we need to be careful, the boule, the foule, the chule, the coule, all that, bro, <laughs> you're gassing these people with things that don't exist, my dude is a lie, you're bugging, facts. And I know I'm going to get a lot of people in the comments like, yo, you're bugging. Listen, I use those words in terms like, prime example, when he says, yo, or somebody says, yo, Jay-Z's Illuminati, the whole world, we got to be careful. They after us. They want to keep our people down. Huh? Yo, you keep putting your people like stuck in this thing, like there's a higher thing up there that's pressing on us. So we're not going to be able to grow. So all we could do is sell crack, bro. Ain't nothing stopping you from getting up there. But you, my dude, because you ain't trying to do nothing because we all want fast money. Because we all want excuses. They put people's dream job. You want to make $100,000 this year? Do you want to make you want to make a half a million dollars or probably a whole million in, in less than 90 days? I'm going to tell you how it could happen if you really work. Your warehouse, your workers, your office, everything is in the palm of your hands. You playing with it. Wow. But I'm going to tell you who's not playing with it. Hassan Campbell, Mr. Brown, Tony Sotomayor, Star, another one, Star doing his thing. Hassan mentioned Star. Anybody that has subscribers that he feels is a number or that's getting views or attention like that, he starts saying, bro, he ain't saying what I'm saying. And something happens with them, bro. That's why I left the Hassan issue and topic alone. I spoke about it a few times and kept it moving. Because I realized a long time ago he was no good from the point that when he started saying that, yo, I just landed in Puerto Rico when all these bloods was on the Queen's Flip Show and like uh, one or two of them was telling their lie, right? Boom. And he went and, and you know, trying to sway the people into that, like they was on the island and there was like the Black Panthers and they came to save black folks from the super oppression of Latin, the whole lie thing that they divided the world again at that time. And then it still spread it on and it breeded dudes like Hassan. Then that same few weeks, he goes to Puerto Rico. Yo, I just got robbed for my, for my um cameras and all that. The, Audience does that feels bad for him. <laughs> Start donnell. You need a camera. Yo, I got thirty cameras. Or he knew exactly what he was doing, bro. So the people that were already feeling hatred towards those Latinos because these dudes had said like the ultimate line story and and, and real like uh, no, the whole story is not valid to me. But you know, then again, that's their business, right? That past. We're not here for them. We're here for. What's happening with her son? So my bad about that. Cause I said a long time ago what I felt about that. And I said I wasn't gonna speak about it. So I sincerely apologize to all parties involved, right? For whatever it means to you. If you accept it, you accept it. If you don't, it is what it is. I'm still war, you still whatever you're doing, right? So with that being said, bro, he goes on and he lies at a time like that because he feels people are gonna believe it. Because this is already spread it. A black dude, he lands in PR. They got him for his cameras. You know how they do? Out there is wild. Plus, they don't like us anyway because these dudes just said it on the Queen's Flip Show. You understand? I'm just trying to show you, bro. And my bad to use all that as an example, but I'm trying to show you the level of hatred that's being spread amongst our own people. And this is all coming from the mouths and the work of so-called content creators. That's not content. When they say I need to go make some content, that's not content, my people. Those are videos. It's a difference. Facts. Anybody can make a video and preach what they feel on the low to work their own hidden agenda. You know when he say, when people say or he say, Pay attention to your circle before they hurt you. He believes that dearly because he is that circle. But you're not paying attention to him at all. <laughs>